that'll warn you. Haunting techniques? It's unorthodox. It's it's unheard of. It's un-American. Disgusting. Keep your eye on them. I'm on my way. Can you believe this? That store owner thinks ghosts are friendly. That was Casper, I tell you. He's going around town doing good deeds for everyone. Revolting. The kid's a menace! Uh, I don't know. I kind of liked him around. It was sort of like a family. Am I hearing this? <laughs> I can't help it. I feel stuff. Yeah, we'll feel this. <laughs> a friendly ghost is a threat to all ghosts. So spread out and find that little polter geek and don't be too gentle about it. Looks good, pal. But you forgot to play. I want you to join us. Really? Gee, thanks. It's Dad. Now listen, I'm going to introduce you to him, so wait by my window, all right? OK, but uh, uh, what should I say? Well, just be friendly. Chris? Now go! Chris! Chris! I'm not supposed to open the door for strangers. Look, I'm sorry about this conference thing. I had an emergency. My office caught on fire. Yeah, and a gremlin ate my homework. Look, charbroiled. Medium well. A minute, you forgot. Well, I didn't forget about wild and crazy guy night. Okay, fine. Hurry up. Uh, Whoa, Chris! That is great! <laughs> Woo! Thanks. I had help. Help? <laughs> yeah, I had a friend over. Oh, uh, yeah? Who's that? <laughs> a new kid. In fact, he's coming over for dinner. Oh, you don't have to do that. We go to a restaurant. Maybe that, that, that Chinese restaurant or something. You tore it down. When did I tear... Oh, yeah, I did, but I put up a yogurt hut. You're very sensitive, Dad. Why do you like to tear everything down? I like that old Applegate place. You're starting to sound like your teacher, and your teacher is going to get me fired, and then you and I, we got to live under a freeway path or just be so old. At least she listens to me. What's that supposed to mean? You never pay attention to me. I mean, you don't come to my baseball games, or take me to the movies, or listen to what I say. Chris. Chris, that's ridiculous. Chris. You know that when... You promised! No interruptions! Can I take a phone call? The phone is ringing. What am I supposed... 
Hello? Yes, Mr. Mayor. Sure. Uh, the memo. Of course I saw it. I didn't... No, Dad, the batting cage! You promised! Th that was the mayor! I'm your son. Chris, don't do this. At least meet my friend first. Okay. When's he gonna show? Uh, I think he's here right now. Oh, yeah? Oh, really? Really? Well, I don't hear the doorbell. Trust me. <clears throat> Hello, sir. I'm Casper. No, no. Yo, dude, Big C here. Oh, yeah. Gotcha, run. Oh, yeah, no. Come on, let us. Ah, Chris <laughs> needs me. Too bad, ball pad. Ah, Your fushy friendly ah. things are real fat. Now, I've got to warn you. It's kind of different to be nice. Okay. Dad, meet Casper. Where is he? Well, he's a ghost. Oh, Chris, I don't have time for games. It's not a game. Ghosts are real. Casper, Chris, come on. Stop. I know. He probably went to the Applegate Mansion. Let's go. That Sheila Fistograph put you up to this, right? I'm going to have a talk with the principal about this. This is ridiculous. Why can't you believe me? Mom would have. That's it. You have an overactive imagination. It is time to grow up. This goes. This and this. This? Look at this stuff. Those are mine! This is trash! No! Chris! You clean this up! I go see the mayor! You can't! What about our dinner in the batting cage? I don't want to hear it, Chris! It's not fair! You want your job more than me! Casper! How could you? Come on, guys. I've got to get back to help Chris. We don't give a flying banshee. This fleshy stuff has got to stop. It's ruining our reputations. You've been a goody-goody too long, and now it's time to pay the price. Pay the piper. Paper or plastic? Look, Elvis's ghost. Where? Where's the <laughs> game? Huh? Oh, hey, stupid. Everyone knows Elvis is still alive. Find him? Hey.